Welcome to the Game Audio Resource WiseCube 2019 Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this guide, we will add various underwater audio assets and data that will be controlled by global underwater wise state for when the player character is above and below water. In this step, we will assign an underwater loop asset to play when the player is underwater. Under the Actor Mixer hierarchy default work unit environment wise work unit, right click, then select New Child Actor Mixer. Name the new mixer EMV underscore water. Drag your underwater looping audio asset into the new mixer. Place it under SFX environment underwater. Select the loop asset, then in the properties editor general settings tab, tick the loop box. In the project explorer events tab, find the event map underscore loaded in the unused folder. Then cut and move it to the environment work unit. Select the event, then in the event editor, right click, then select new action, then play. Drag the underwater loop asset from the actor mixer hierarchy onto the new event playline. In the properties of the new event entry, change the fade time value to one. Finally, we need to define only to play the asset when the player character is underwater. Return to the audio tab, Actor Mixer, Environment underscore Water, Actor Mixer. In the Properties Editor, select the States tab. Select Add State Groups, Default Work Unit, Player in Water. In the States list, change the Voice Volume value for No to minus 96. We need to assign an Output Bus. Select the EMV underscore Underwater, Actor Mixer. In the Properties Editor, General Settings tab, Assign the output bus to the SFX environment mixer. We can now test the assets in WISE. Select the underwater looping audio asset, then in the transport control, click on states. This will display the underwater state. Set the player in water state to yes. Press play on the transport control. You will now hear the underwater asset. While the asset is playing, change the player in water state to no. The loop should fade out and stop playing. In this step, we will add a global control for all assets when the player is underwater. Under the Master Mixer hierarchy, Master Audio Bus, select the SFX Mixer. In the Properties Editor, select this States tab. Select Add State Group, Default Work Unit, Player in Water. In the Voice Low Pass Filter column, change the value of the Player in Water Yes state to 50. Then in the Bus Volume column, change the Yes value to minus 5. As this setting also affects the underwater mixer bus, we need to offset the underwater content. Select the EMV Underwater Actor Mixer. Then in the Properties Editor States tab, add the following values for the yes state. Voice Low Pass equals minus 25. Voice Volume equals plus 5. This important step sets up the player in water state to correctly trigger depending on the situation in the game environment. In the Project Explorer Events tab, Unused folder, find the following events. Splash in underscore monster, splash in underscore player, splash out underscore monster, and splash out underscore player. Drag these four events into the default work unit, body wise work unit. Select the event, splash in underscore player. In the event editor list, right click and select new action, states, then set state. In the target list of the new action, right click, select set target, default work unit, player in water, then yes. Next click on the event splash out underscore player. In the event editor list, right click and select new action, states, then set state. In the target field of the new action, right click, then select set target, default work unit, player in water, then no. Finally, we need to set a property to tell the engine at the start of the level not to play the water loop. Locate the map loaded event under the events tab, default work unit environment. Right click, then select new action, states, then set state. Then in the target window, select set target, default work unit, player and water, then no. In this step, we will add assets to play when the player character enters and exit water above waist height using the splash in and the splash out events. In the actor mixer hierarchy, default work unit, body work unit, 
add two new random containers. Name the containers body underscore splash underscore into underscore water and body underscore splash underscore out underscore of underscore water. Drag the associated audio assets into the corresponding random containers. Place them under SFX body body underscore splash. Return to the two splash random containers, then assign the output bus in both containers to the body mixer bus. Now we need to associate the random container to an event. In the Project Explorer Events tab, locate the splash in underscore player event under body. A play property should be set up with silence underscore one underscore shot from earlier in this guide series. Drag the body underscore splash underscore into water random container onto the target box. Repeat this process with all three other splash related events, assigning the corresponding random container to each target box in each event. All data is now set up. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. Lastly, we check our updates in game. Boot up the game and connect WISE to the game. Open the map island underscore pre. the test footsteps play underwater. For now, mute the test underscore foot random container. Move the player character underwater. The underwater loop should start to play as the player character goes underwater. The loop should then stop when the player character comes out of the water. Finally, run an integrity report to confirm no errors exist.